Hey guys, it's Monica. So today's topic is one that was very highly requested and that is how to study for your shelf exams. Ugh, I hate exams. They cost me so much stress and anxiety throughout medical school, throughout residency, but unfortunately they are a fact of life. So you do need to make them a priority. So there are two aspects of your clinical rotations that you need to consider if you really want to do well. And those include your clinical skills, including your faculty evaluations, and your shelf exams. Now with pass-fail these days, you could argue that the faculty evaluations do matter more. So in that case, you'll probably be staying at least until sign out, maybe even a couple hours extra. You'll be getting in early, and you do have to still eat and sleep and maybe even work out. So you'll have max like two, three hours to study, and then you're not gonna see every diagnosis during the rotation, so you do have to spend some time with questions and books. Now, especially for rotations like internal medicine and surgery, like the amount of knowledge that you need is so vast. So how the heck are you gonna learn everything? Now today, I'm gonna give you some tips on studying. I hope they're helpful. I'm not gonna be sugarcoating anything because in order to do well, you do need to work hard, period. Tip number one, choose one book plus UWorld per rotation and those are the resources you will study. Do not get overwhelmed by all the possible studying resources there are out there. If you choose too many of them, you're gonna to try to get through all of them, you're not gonna get through all of them, and then you're gonna just do yourself more harm than good. Tip number two, study for your harder rotations during your more chill rotations. Like sight. You heard me right. Sounds pretty gunnerish, but it works because that way you're not learning everything for the first time when you actually do the clinical rotation. In fact, if you really want to get ahead of the game, you can do part or even all of UWorld before you even start your clinical rotations. And then you'll be extra prepared for your clinical rotations and you'll be more relaxed. So that way you're gonna be more willing to admit that extra patient or do that extra presentation. And those things are gonna go a long way in bolstering your evaluations. Tip number three, focus on the questions. So the best advice I can give you for studying is that practicing active recall is the most effective strategy for learning, meaning testing yourself. So definitely try to get through all the UWorld questions and do them again. Even better, while you're going through them the first time, keep track of your weaknesses, and then when you do it again, just focus on the weak areas because that's going to be the most efficient and high yield way to study. Tip number four, make a schedule and stick to it. Now, I know every studying video is going to include this tip, but it is really important and it's pretty much the rule of thumb for anything in life that takes a lot of time. So decide on a number of questions you're gonna do every day and be realistic and stick to it. So if you need a resource on how to build habits like this, I highly recommend this book, Atomic Habits by James Clear. I think it's amazing. I have both the audiobook and the hardcover and I recommend it to all my patients, especially those who are trying to lose weight. But anyway, that's an aside. I also recommend that you check out these productivity gurus. Definitely check out their channels and binge watch their videos. Tip number five, learn topics as they come up during the clinical rotation. If a topic comes up during your clinical rotation that's even remotely applicable to something on the shelf exam, then double down and learn it then. Whatever you learn within a clinical context, meaning with a real patient, is gonna stick better than anything you read in a book. So for instance, if you get a patient with abnormal uterine bleeding on your ob rotation, then learn everything there is to know about abnormal uterine bleeding, including the workup and the management, and better yet, teach it to your team, because nothing is gonna make information stick better than having to teach it to a team, especially off the top of your head. Tip number six, don't just memorize, understand. So when you're learning something like hyponatremia, don't just memorize the list of causes of hyponatremia. Understand why they cause hyponatremia or don't just memorize the treatments for a certain condition. Understand why those treatments work because a lot of questions are going to require some amount of synthesis and understanding of the basic process underlying a certain disease. Find a study partner, AKA an accountability partner. So this is actually one of the tips in terms of building good habits, having an accountability partner. So find a study partner who you vibe with and who has similar studying habits because then you guys can keep each other accountable and make sure you're studying regularly. And you can have a partner to actually teach things to. So if you put your book down and try to explain something off the top of your head to someone else, that will definitely reveal any knowledge gaps that you have. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on tips for effective studying for your shelf exams. Please like and subscribe for more videos on how to succeed in medical school, residency, and beyond. Bye, guys.